So when gathering a temperature on a patient, there's multiple routes that you can use. The oral is gonna be the most common that you're gonna see the most often. The key for this is just to make sure you're using the correct probe. So blue, oral, this one's also blue for oral. We'll talk about the different colors of the different roots in a moment. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and pull this up and you'll see it come on here, it says oral, getting ready. Then you're going to sheath the probe and then you're going to have the patient open up their mouth. You're gonna slide it under their tongue to the wards the back and have them close their lips. That way you get a good seal and you're getting an accurate oral reading, 98.4. Take that off, go ahead and push the button and it disposes of it right into the trash can. So temporal is another route that we use, which is the forehead. There are a bunch of different types of temporal thermometers that are out there. There's some that just scan, not even touching the patient. There's other ones that slide it along the forehead. There's some that slide it along the forehead, down in front of the ear and behind. So you'll get familiar with what different, temp what different thermometer is being used at the different facilities that you're working at. So the temporal, very common for post-ops and for pediatrics as well. So rectal, rectal will always be red. Again, we talked about oral for blue, rectal for red. Really important that you're not coming at your patient to take an oral temperature with a rectal thermometer. So make sure that you are very careful about noticing that. Same way we do it, pull it open, it'll start. It says rectal right down here, sheath it and then you're going to add a little bit of lube to this. And then for the patient, which is typically infants, um, rarely ever used on adults or older children, but on infants we might have them lying on their side or prone on their belly with their bottom kind of up in the air a little bit. And then you're gonna put lube on this and then you're going to insert this about an inch and a half at the most into the rectum, so just a tiny little bit. And then you're gonna go ahead and hold the buttocks together because that re rectal sphincter will expulse, um, it will expel anything placed into it. So when you push it in, hold the buttocks together until it beeps. And then you've got your reading, okay? Same way, discard of this in the trash can. So we also have tympanic, which is the ear. And these are very, very common, especially in surgery. We're seeing them used a lot um, in all different facilities as well. What you wanna make sure that you do is that you get a really good snug fit. So for adults, you're gonna go up and pull the um, penna up and back, get a good seal. For kids, down and back, get a good seal. So this is the most reliable if done correctly because the tympanic membrane shares the same blood supply as the hypothalamus. So this is gonna be the most, the closest to your core body temperature, the most reliable. But again, user error, you wanna make sure that you've got a really tight seal to get that correct tympanic measurement. And then axillary. So axillary also uses the blue. And this is in the armpit. So same way you're going to sheath you're going to sheath and then we're going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and have you pull this down right here and lift up your armpit. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Go ahead and relax your arm right here and you can hold it or have your patient hold it, whatever's easiest. And you're going to wait until it beeps. This is honestly the least reliable, 97.9. So you can see how that corresponded to her, I believe 98.5 oral temperature. It typically is about a degree lower than oral, and it takes a little longer to get. So again, a good seal, but this is the least invasive, non-traumatic way to take a temperature. A normal temperature, Fahrenheit, 98.6 degrees, and Celsius, 37 degrees Celsius. 